What's up everyone? We are here in the Jurassic Room and today we are going to be taking a look at the entire Jurassic World Dino Trackers toy line. We are going to take a look at every single figure that was released through the entire toy line. We're also going to show off all of the scan codes so that you can add all of them to your collection. So let's take a look at everything that came out in the Dino Trackers line. So here is the entire toy line. We've got everything from the Wild Roar dinosaurs to the Strike Attack dinosaurs to the Danger Packs, all the way up to some of the specialty figures, the Gigantic Trackers, the Super Colossals, the Special Indoraptor, the Special Indominus Rex. There is just so much awesome things that came out in this toy line. So let's start by looking at all of the Wild Roar figures. So here are all of the Wild Roar figures that came out in the Dino Trackers line. The four dinosaurs that you see on the right are from Wave 1. And the four dinosaurs that you see on the left are from Wave 2. So let's start by looking at Wave 1 first. So first up... We have the Diablo Ceratops, which is a very cool looking figure. Um, some sort of Triceratops looking dinosaur, which is really, really cool. It's got an action feature as well. Which is pretty nice. And then of course shows the rest of the toys in the assortment, which is really, really cool. And then of course I'm going to try to get the scan code for every single one of these toys so that all of you can add them to your Jurassic World Facts app. So that was first up, the Diablo Ceratops. Next up, we have the Dryaptosaurus, which is another really cool figure. Um, another carnivore added to the line. Let's check out that action feature. Pretty cool. And then let's get a scan code for everyone to add to their collection. There we are. Now, next, we have, I may say this one completely wrong, we have the Eocarchia, um, which looks like another carnivore, but it looks like it has some like hair or feathers on it, which is really, really cool. Let's check out that action feature. Super cool. And now let's see if I can get that scan code for everyone. This one's going to be a little tight, but I think I can still get it for everyone. There it is. And my camera won't focus. Perfect. So there's that one. Now the last of the Wild Roar dinosaurs from Wave 1, we have the Kronosaurus. And this is probably my favorite of the four from that wave. It's a really cool marine reptile, and it's got an awesome action feature. Watch this. And it can go both directions, which is super, super cool. This is um, a really, really nice figure, but even though it is an aquatic animal, I would not take this in the water because it does have electronics to the toy. And now there is that scan code for everyone to add to their collection. Get my camera to focus. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Now that completes wave one of the Wild Roar Dinosaurs. So now on to wave two. So first off, we have the Nigersaurus, which is a sauropod looking dinosaur. Looks really, really cool. Um, his face is kind of funny looking actually, but I like it. Um, let's check out that action feature. Very, very nice. And then of course on the back, Shows the rest of wave two, like the other packages showed the rest of wave one. And now let's get that scan code for all of you to add to your Jurassic World Facts app. There it is. Perfect. Awesome. Awesome. Now, next up, we have the Orco Raptor, which is really, really cool. Um, another pretty cool carnivore that looks like it has some fur on it, which I really like. Um, let's check out that action feature again. Very, very nice. Another really cool figure. And then, of course, the scan code for everyone. Got to see if we can get all of these dino trackers into all of your awesome collections. But let me focus it a little bit more. There it is. 
Wonderful. Now, next, we have the Irritator, which is super cool. Um, I really like its long snout. Kind of reminds me of the Spinosaurus a little bit, which is one of my favorite dinosaurs. So I really, really like this figure. Let's check out those action features. Very, very cool. And then let's see if I can get that scan code for everyone. And there it is. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Now the last dinosaur from the Wild Roar line is the Regal Ceratops. And this one may be my favorite out of the four from Wave 2. Um, I like its name. I like that yellow color. I like its horns and crest. Looks really, really nice. Let's check out the action feature. Very, very cool. And let's see if we can get that scan code. Very, very nice. So that is all of the Wild Roar dinosaurs that came out in the Dino Tracker lines. So next, we are going to see all of the Strike Attack dinosaurs. Here are all of the Strike Attack dinosaurs. Again, the four dinosaurs on the right are from Wave 1, and the four dinosaurs on the left are are from wave two. So of course, let's start by looking at wave one first. So first dinosaur here we have is the Genodistisaurus. I'm not really sure how to say that one, um, but it's still a very cool looking dinosaur. It's got a nice little action feature with its mouth, which is cool. And then of course, let's get that scan code for everyone. There we go. Beautiful. And then, of course, on the back, it shows the assortment um, for wave one of the strike attack dinosaurs. So now next, and my favorite of the four from wave one is the Edifosaurus. This is a super cool dinosaur. It looks a lot like a Dimetrodon. Um, but if it is anything like a Dimetrodon, then it's actually not a dinosaur. It's a prehistoric reptile. But it's a very, very a cool addition to the Dino Tracker line. It's got its feature here where its head turns from the tail, which is very, very cool. And then, of course, we got that scan code. I know this is one of the harder figures to find in the assortment. So I definitely want to get that scan code for everyone. Very cool. Now, next up... We have the Herrerasaurus, which is really, really nice. Now, as you can see, he's got an action feature as well, which just makes his head kind of bob, um, which is still really, really cool. And then let's get that scan code. Here we are. There it is. So this one can be in your collection as well. Super, super cool. Now... Last dinosaur from wave one of these strike attacks, we have the Zuni Ceratops, which is another really, really cool figure. This is my second favorite from this first wave. Um, I really like any of the um, Ceratopsian type dinosaurs. They look really, really nice. Um, but yeah, let's see its feature. Bobbing that head and ready to ram those horns into its opposition, which is super, super cool. And then of course, on the back here, we've got our scan code. Let me get it pulled all the way up so that y'all can see it perfectly. But there we go. Now, that was all of wave one. So let's move on to wave two. So first up with wave two, we have the Atrociraptor. And I actually really like this one because they put the quills on the back of the heads, very similar to the JP3 Velociraptors, um, which is really, really awesome to me. Let's check out its strike attack move, which is its head. Very, very nice. And then you come down a little further on its back. And here is the scan code, everyone. Beautiful. All right. So next... We have the Giganta Spinosaur, um, which no, is not a Spinosaurus. This is actually a kind of stegosaurid looking dinosaur, which is also very cool. Um, I really like these big spikes that go across the back. Makes the figure really strike out at you, or hence the name Strike Attack, <laughs> which is cool. Now let's check out its action feature. 
Which one is its action feature, actually? I think you push down on the tail. I don't know. Maybe the action feature is not working on mine. Oh, no, no. The head makes the tail go. I see. I wasn't thinking. Very, very cool. And now let's get that scan code for everyone. Beautiful. All right. Now, next up, and probably my favorite from Wave 2, we have the Presto Suchis, which is super, super cool. Um, this is another, like, land-looking reptile, which is nice. I like its big, chomping-looking mouth. Let's see that feature. Oh, look at that mouth chomp. Super, super cool. Really, really like this figure. And now, let's get that scan code, everyone. Boom. Very nice. Now, the last one from Wave 2 of the Strike Attack Dinosaurs, we have the Dilophosaurus. And this one is a repaint of ones that we've gotten in the past, but it still looks really, really cool. And I love the action feature on these things. I love how his frills, whoops, got caught in the packaging. Yeah, look at that. Boom, just like the Dilophosaurus is spitting its venom at you, which is really, really cool. And then, of course, let's get that scan code for everyone. This one's a little different. You've got to lift up like this. But there is the scan code, which is very, very cool. So that is all of the strike attack dinosaurs from the Dino Tracker lines. So now let's move on to the danger pack figures. So now here are all of the danger pack dinosaurs. The four on the right here are from wave one. The three in the middle are from wave two. The three towards the left are from wave three. And then the last two on the left are from wave four. So of course, let's go ahead and start with wave one. So first off, we have the baby Brachiosaurus, which is absolutely adorable. And of course, since these are the smaller size dinosaurs, they don't have any action features, but they do still look very nice. And of course, they still have scan codes. So there you go, guys. Go ahead and add that one to your collection. So next up, I may say some of these wrong, but this is the Elaphrosaurus. And this one is actually quite cool looking. It's a really interesting mold. Um, I like these little quill looking things on its head. Um, it makes it a really interesting dinosaur. Um, so I really, really like this one. And then of course, here is that scan code for everyone. Boom. Now, next up, we have the Ostroraptor. And this one's kind of like a Velociraptor, but it's got some stuff on its elbow. And it's got like a longer snout, which is pretty cool. Um, this is a pretty nice figure, and I definitely like it. Um, I like how the Dino Trackers line had a lot of unique dinosaurs. Um, and then, of course, the scan code for everyone right there. Boom. Add that one to your Jurassic World Facts app. Now, my favorite from wave one of the danger packs is actually the Nothosaurus. Now, this one showed up in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous and was just really, really cool. It was an instant fan favorite. I mean, look at those teeth. How could you not love this figure? Look at that. It's very, very cool. Um, my favorite, maybe from all of the danger pack waves, but definitely my favorite from wave one. And then, of course... Let's get y'all that scan code. This one's a little harder to see. Sorry. There it is. Boom. Now, on to wave two. So for wave two, first up, this is going to be really hard for me to say. We have the Piantinkiosaurus. Um, I know I said that horribly wrong, but it's a cool looking carnivore that's got these kind of like little things on its head, kind of like the Dilophosaurus, which I really like. Um, and it's got some nice little teeth on it too, and a pretty cool paint way. So this is definitely a really cool figure. And then of course, scan code for everyone. There we go. Add that one to your Jurassic World Facts app. Now, next up in wave two, we have the Tupandactylus. Um, and this one's pretty cool. It reminds me a lot of the Tappy Jara that came out in the Dino Rivals line. Um, but I really, really like this one. It's a cool little figure. Um, it's got a nice little crest on its head. And then, of course, let's get that scan code for everyone. Boom. Add that one to your collection, guys. 
Very, very nice. Now, the last one from Wave 2 is going to be hard for me to say as well. This is the Exuanhanosaurus. Um, and y'all can correct me if you want in the comments, guys. I know I'm probably butchering these names, um, but this is another pretty cool dinosaur. I like how it kind of has the hair effect and everything on it. It looks really, really nice. And now, of course, let's get that scan code for everyone. Boom. Add that one to your Jurassic World Facts app as well. It's a very, very nice figure. Now, wave three of the danger packs. We have first up one of my favorites. This is the Boropelta, which is kind of like an Ankylosaurus, but not at the same time. It's got a similar look to it, but it looks really, really nice. Um, I love that armor plating and everything on it. It looks really, really cool. And then, of course, let's get that scan code, guys. There you go. Add that one to your facts app. Next up, we have the Dacosaurus, which is really, really cool. Um, it's another marine reptile. I love it when they add marine reptiles to the toy lines. Just gives it a nice, really cool feel to me. Um, and this is no exception to that. This is a very nice looking figure. And I really, really like having this one in my collection. And of course, scan code for everyone. Boom. All righty. Now we have a pyroraptor, or as I like to call it, the parrot pyroraptor, because it's got like parrot coloring um, and it's got the feathers and everything on it. So it literally feels like a giant menacing parrot. Um, but I kind of like that. It's pretty unique and it makes it really, really cool. Um, so I'm not really complaining. Now let's get that scan code out. This one's a little stubborn. Sorry, guys. There it is. And. Add it to your Jurassic World Facts app. Very nice. Now, the last wave, wave four, only had two dinosaurs in it. And we have the Velociraptor, which is just a repaint of a sculpt that we've gotten many, many times. But it's not a bad repaint. I, I do like the colorway. Um, so no complaints from me. And let's go ahead, get that scan code. There it is. Perfect. Now, the last danger pack dinosaur from the whole dino uh dino trackers line is right here the ornithocharius and it's another really cool flying reptile um one of my favorites from the danger pack line as well looks really really cool i'm loving that big old beak and that little red markings across its beak looks really cool and then of course you can't forget the scan code to add to your collection guys this one's a little harder to see. It's a little dark, but hopefully that works to add it to your collection. So now that we've taken a look at all the danger packs, now it's time to move on to the gigantic tracker dinosaurs. So here are the gigantic trackers figures. The two that you see on the right are from wave one and the two that you see on the left are from wave two. So starting off, first off, we have the Sino Tyrannus, which is another really cool figure. It's got a couple of action features, as y'all can see. And then its tail as well, which is cool. That's why um, it's got two attacks. They used to call these dual attacks because of the two different attacks. It also comes with some tracking gear, which is really, really cool. Um, this is another really cool figure. And then, of course, let's get that scan code for everyone to add to your collection. Now, the second run from Wave 1, we have the Gigantic Tracker Stegosaurus. And I really like the paint job on this one. The white really makes it pop and gives it a really cool look. And then, of course, this one's got some action features as well, which um, I'm actually struggling to find them. Where, oh, here they are. So there's that tail. Look at that tail go and then the head too. Or no, no, no. The tail just goes up and down and side to side. Very, very cool. And then if you pull the, spot, um, the plate right here, you will get the scan code for this awesome figure. So very, very nice. Now on to wave two, we have the, this is gonna be hard for me to say, Bista Haven Soar, which looks really, really cool. This one comes with tracking gear as well, which I like a lot. And then of course it's got its features as well. It's little spikes move and its head, which is really unique and really cool. Um, and then of course, right here, here is the scan code, everyone. Boom. Very, very cool. 
Now, last but not least, my favorite of all the gigantic trackers is the Elasmosaurus. This one comes with tracking gear as well, which is awesome. And it's got some really good features. Look at this. He can come up and snap that mouth like he's going to catch a fish or something. And then he can go up and down or to the side to snatch the fish, which is really, really cool. This is one of my favorites from the whole Dino Tracker line. And then, of course, let's get that scan code for everyone. Add that one to your collection as well. So now that was all of the gigantic tracker dinosaurs. So now let's take a look at some of the specialty dinosaurs and sets that came with the Dino Trackers line. So next we have four more awesome dinosaurs and sets that came in the Dino Trackers line. First up, we have the Hunt and Chomp Tyrannosaurus Rex. I really love the paint job on this one. I love that desert feel it has with those stripes. This is a really cool T-Rex and it comes with capture gear. Now let me show y'all some of the features. Very, very cool figure, as y'all can see. One of my favorite T-Rexes that Mattel has done, and they've done a lot of them, so that's saying something um, for sure. And now let's get that scan code for everyone. Boom, add that one to your collection, guys. Next, we have the Habitat Defender Triceratops. And this is such a unique figure because this is the first big size Triceratops that Mattel did in any of their toy lines. And not only that, the sculpt just looked a lot better too. This is an incredible figure. Um, this is a super, super cool one to have in the collection. And it was made with 60% recycled plastic, which is supposed to make a difference for the environment. Now, I'm not sure that I can get to the scan code on this one, guys, because I think it is towards the back of the box. Um, I can look real quick to make sure. But yeah, so I can't show you all the scan code on this one or if it even has a scan code, um, but still a super, super cool addition to the Dino Trackers line. Next up, we have the Track and Attack Indoraptor. And I really love this figure. I love that kind of shiny paint way that it has on it. Um, it's got some tracking gear, which is really cool. And then it's got this awesome feature with the opening of the mouth, lighting up of red eyes and the sounds. Watch this. Super awesome. This is an amazing figure as well. And then of course this one, I can get y'all that scan code nice and easy. Boom, there it is. Go ahead and add that one to your app. And now last of these sets right here, we have the Search and Smash truck set, which is really, really cool. It comes with this really cool truck, the opening doors, um, comes with a um, some capture gear or some tracking gear for this Atrociraptor. Comes with a cool little mercenary and a weapon. And then of course, this Atrociraptor has a unique scan code, but they actually printed it to the other side of this. So I can't actually show everyone. I'm so sorry about that. I don't know why they printed it backwards this time, um, but I can't show the scan code on that, but it's still a super, super cool set. So now let's take a look at the last few items from the Dino Trackers line. Now, next we have the Super Colossal Indoraptor. And this thing is so awesome. It is obviously huge, as y'all can see, because it is a Super Colossal, but the details, the paint, the way the mouth and the teeth look are just absolutely menacing on this figure. This is maybe my favorite Super Colossal that they have made of all time. It is massive, it is impressive, and it is definitely something that you have to have in your Jurassic collection. It can swallow the dinosaurs and spit them out its belly, just like all of the other Super Colossals. But the difference with this Super Colossal is that the details just look so much better. It looks like Mattel put a lot more time into this amazing figure, um, and it turned out great as all of you can see. Now, I don't have one out of the box, so this is the only glimpse that I can give y'all, but as you can see, it is an incredible figure. Now, let's take a look at the final piece of the Dino Trackers toy line, which is probably also my favorite piece. So the last item from the Dino Trackers line is the Camouflage and Battle Indominus Rex. 
And this is just an amazing figure, a huge upgrade on the sculpt and everything from the original Indominus Rex that came out from Mattel. Um, as you can see, the head looks amazing. We got these awesome quills going down the back of its neck. Super good, um, you know, on the paint and everything. It didn't take a lot of paint to make this pretty, but they put just enough. And now the actual action features and the sounds are the best part of this. So watch what this thing can do. Now you can see this effect a lot better when the lights are off. So I'll turn them off in one second and show y'all. But here is the scan code. So this can be added to your collection. But now what I'm going to do is turn the lights off and then show you that action feature. It is just so, so cool. So that is everything that was released with the main line of the Jurassic World Dino Tracker toys. There were a few other things that were released, maybe like some smiled, some small little wild pop-up dinosaurs, and maybe just some like tiny little content that had some like Dino Tracker looking packaging on it. But these were all of the toys that were mainline released to go along with the Jurassic World Dino Trackers toy line by Mattel. Thank you for tuning in to today's awesome video. If you enjoyed this and want to see so much more from my collection, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything that's going on here in the Jurassic Room. And go ahead and check me out on Instagram and TikTok at Jurassic Park World Collector and join my Discord server to chat with me and many other Jurassic and Dinosaur fans. The links will all be in the description below. Check out more awesome videos here. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>